Ready? Yes, sir. Make sure you keep up on the windscreen, you know. I know uh, some, it's going to be hard. You want to, when you talk to us, you want to look at us. Yeah. Make sure you just keep yeah. right into the microphone so we can hear you loud and clear. All right. All of our listeners out there. Right now we got Texas listening in, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, everywhere throughout Colorado. Hey, what up? You're, come on in. Unit, unit number three. Unit number three is right behind it. Okay. All right. Can I grab her right quick? Yeah, we got about a minute. Cool, good. She can go ahead and sit in or in here. That room it doesn't matter. Not, I think this records. I think it keeps recording. Sometimes you'll have to flick it to make sure it's, <laughs> make sure it grabs it. How come she used the live version of that song? We're already streaming live, so it's okay. Huh? Oh, it's okay. We're on here live, Jesse. Well, we didn't, we, we, we didn't even go. know. Yeah, we, we still got about fifty seconds left on the regular audio, but we are streaming video. Uh, my boy Dre Lane is here right now. We're gonna be talking about uh, his new album, new album going down, and new shows coming up. Uh, Shy come to the uh, so. interview right now. Check it out. All right, 25 seconds. Woo, so you're live right now. We are streaming. live right now. So wave to everyone. Yo, what's good? Streaming live. We Shout out to Texas. Shout out to Fort Lauderdale. Shout out to 303, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds. Hey, you ready to roll in here, huh, Jesse? Let's get busy. I feel good. I feel good. Check it out, y'all. Check it out. It's your Friday get down, but we got something special for you on this Friday afternoon. My boy Dre Lang rolled through the studio today. Uh, he's going to give us an up close and personal interview. So, what's up, brother Dre Lang? Say hello to everyone out there. Yo, what's goody, Denver? How y'all doing? Glad to be here. Shout out to khsdenver.com. My boy Jesse for having me here. I'm definitely glad to be in attendance. Today. Absolutely. And of course, we got my man, Mr. Henry Archuleta, sitting in with us. What's well, up, Henry? Well, but you let me come in. I let you come in, bro. He said, you know, I'm the local bum sitting on the street. <laughs> Say, hey, can I go play with your toys? Tell him what yeah, up, though. Come on in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. You know, Dre Lane, he said, yeah, I'll go down. It's a nice day. That's why he's Beautiful out here. Day. He says, yeah. I'll, I'll go roll on out down there. I'm not going to lie. I threw the spring shirt on and everything. You know what I mean? They say real men wear pink. I'm a rocket. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. You know, it's nice to have Dre Lane here in the in the studio on a special thank show. You. Isn't that right, Jesse? Special. Uh, one of our first interviews ever on a Friday. So. Yes, that's Man, right. That's what's <laughs> up. You're first to go with yeah. us. So we're going to have a good time here on KUHS Radio, www.kuhsdenver.com. You make sure and log in right now. It's live stream. Turn down the audio part on the radio part. And just turn up your uh, video. If not, you can hear them both because we're going to stream live audio, video around the world, showing you what Denver's got. Denver's got the best. Isn't that right, Jesse? You know it. That's how we do it here at KUHS. So we're going to hop right into this. Let's take it from the beginning, Dre. You know, I was reading a little yes, bit sir. of your bio and stuff, and you look up to some great R&B legends, Stevie mm -hmm. Wonder, Michael Jackson, Absolutely. you name it. How did you get singing? What what? What got you into the singing move? Man, you know, uh, I was raised in a church, and I'm originally from California, and uh, my dad plays the piano. He's a master pianist. Uh, he's pretty cold-blooded. And my mom, she sang in the choir, and my auntie, she ran and owns her own church, True Church of God, in Long Beach, California. Shout out to 213. Um, but I started in the church playing drums and, you know, dancing, you know what I'm saying, from, you know, out from the pews, you know, in the front of the pews, in front of everybody, and... Really didn't start singing until, you know, my early, you know, early teens, 12, 13 years old. But, uh, you know, it's always kind of been, in, you know, in my blood, you know, because watching my mom and my dad operate, you know, kind of instilled that in me at a young age and, and definitely built the foundation, you know, at a young, at a young age and just kind of trying to take it to the next level. You know what I mean? Now, his genre, we got to, you know, Jesse, you got to explain to our mm -hmm. audience worldwide you know, we've got different genres coming out. Kind of explain uh, Dre Lane's genre here. Well, you know, it's mostly R&B, but he, I know he does a little bit of this, a little bit of that, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But mostly, you know, if you look up to Stevie Wonder and you look up to Michael Jackson, you're, you're most likely going to stay within that R&B range. And, you know, that's some of the best music 
uh, in my opinion, I think so. It is. You know, it, it, it may allows you to sing uh, uh, from your heart, from your soul. Mm -hmm. And you do that. You know, uh, I had the pleasure of uh, backing you up when we opened up for Color Me Bad. And yeah. You had the crowd popping, bro. Yeah, man, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, that, was, it, that was a good event. And you brought some songs along with us, so we're going to get to those here in a little bit. Uh, anything and some party people here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Up. Oh, Jesse's got the, he's got the groove on what's going on. You know, Jesse's been around town, and he's been around the block five or six times, and he's he rode on his bicycle, let me tell you, but he knows what's up around town. Hey, let me uh, get me into the compunction. Henry, I know you can do it. Get me an interview with uh, Sheila E. I know you can do it. Get me this. Okay, Jesse, let's do it. <laughs> and then he did a 50, 60 show. I go, Jesse, where do you find all this? I mean, what's up with this? Well, like Dre Lane, you know. Like yeah, he you brought said, in Dre Lane. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, like you said, you know, it, it, Start from a young age, mm -hmm. and that's, and that's where it starts. That's where it starts. Work. It worked. Yeah. Let's get back to Dre Lane. Let's hear some more, Dre. I yeah, mean, like you were saying, uh, as far as like you know, my genre, you know, you know, you know, to be straight with you, you know, obviously my my straightforward genre would be R and B, you know, which I loved, and that was my foundation. That's what I started with, you know. And as I kind of developed, you know, the craft and my you know my love for music, you know. I, I consider myself an artist, you know, mm -hmm. if anything, you know, and, and really the beat is my canvas and then whatever the beat kind of tells me to write or whatever, you know, situation or things I'm going through at that time, you know, will kind of tell me, you know, what to put on that canvas, which is the beat. So, you know, sometimes I could be doing some, you know, straight for R&B. Sometimes I can do some hip hop, you know, sometimes I could do some pop or hip pop, you know, where I'm mm -hmm. crossing in both genres of hip hop and pop. So, you know, I try not to, you know, you know, ground myself just to one genre, but if I did have to paint myself, as far as my strong suit, R&B would be that. Okay, so your vocal capability, uh, you've got uh, different ranges, I'm sure, for your different genres. What is your vocal uh, capability in your range, and what are you most comfortable with then? Man, Dre? usually, usually, um, 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 you know, I kind of stay away from the, the lower tones, but, you know, when you're when you're layering your tracks, you know, you got to have your baritones, you got to have your altos, you know, your soprano. So I'm right in between that range of alto and soprano. You know, I try to give them a little bit of that because they ain't, ain't nothing like, you know, hitting that falsetto, you know what I mean? Getting yeah. goosebumps, you know what I'm saying? Going on, going on, the, going on, on the people's skin, you know what I'm saying? Preferably the ladies' skin, you know what I mean? But, you know, shout yeah. out to the fellas out there. Usually, you Especially know. Especially, you, you know, they see you, you're not a small boy, man. No, <laughs> no, I'm not. No. They're, you, they see you come out there, they think you got a very white voice. Exactly. You know, but when you hit that falsetto, no, yep, like you said, them ladies. Like, okay. Yep. Yeah. Or they think I'm a rat. Or they think I'm a rat. Yeah, think I'm a rat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Trey. You know, just listening to you in, in my headset here, I can tell you have you have this this sound to you that just resonates in my ear. That's so, so uh, can you uh, go over a verse, just one verse? Let's hear that uh, vocal range of yours. I've been feeling dry, baby. Trying to hold back this feeling for so long, and if you feel like I do, baby, then come on, oh, come on, let's get it on. You know what I mean? And I can hear. There you go. <laughs> you see, That's I can hear. Right. When I was hearing you, you, told me, you got this tonal value that I can tell an, an artist just by the way you're talking, and that tonal value is ringing in my ear. Yeah. And so I said, you know, let me hear that. Yeah, it's That's what we're talking about right there. I hear right? the lady screaming out oh, there. Oh, yeah. Okay, the dogs are barking. Right I hope they, I hope they <laughs> Damn. Have, I hope there's some whiskey. <laughs> now we got to go and know it's dry. Fix that window there. across yeah. the street. Somebody <laughs> just told me broke the window. Yeah, that's what's know. crazy, man. Like, most people, you know, if I don't if I don't tell you that I sing, you wouldn't really think, you know, unless I'm, you know, talking in my regular. Because my normal talking voice is usually a little bit rugged or raspy, you know, maybe a little deeper. It really just depends on the day or whatnot. But once, you know, once that, you know, get to the point where I'm getting ready to sing or something, it's, it's I don't know, it's like I tune into a different part of my, you know, of my throat, my, that. You reach down. I reach down it, deep yeah. into the soul, you know what I mean? And into the larynx or whatever they call it. <laughs> yeah, to that voice box, man. I trigger something different, so. You know, I, I think I should do some voiceovers or something, like some animation, so, you know too. what I mean? Or something, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Something. You Big know what time. I mean? And then, you know, with uh, having a good vocal range, having good vocals like you do, um, you know, with this cold weather and this, uh, this, this craziness of colds and getting sick, if you mm. run into a problem, it's it's showtime. Showmans go on, you're sick, you're not feeling Absolutely. good. Warm up with tea and warm up with something. What do you do to get going? Man, usually, uh, especially right before my shows, uh, I tend to always get sick just because of how hard I work before my shows. Um, I like to make sure that 
I do a lot of cardio. You know, I'm rehearsing a lot, make sure. Because when people come out to these shows, uh, especially as an up-and-coming artist, too, you don't have any room for error. You know, you don't have any time for, you know, cracks, you know, any of that. You know what I mean? So when I come when I come out to perform, I want the people to remember me. You know what I mean? Rather, it's for my energy on stage, but most importantly, you know, the vocal ability. You know, and as a singer, it's different for rappers. As a singer, it's hard to be on point, you know, every single time. You know what I mean? But I try my best to be 99.9% ready to go. And as long as I do the hard work beforehand, you know, I'm, you know, I'm pretty confident, you know, I could put on a good performance. But usually, you know, I try to, you know, I try to use that throat coat. Throat coat's pretty good, you know, tea and honey. You know, my mom and dad, you know, they were raised on that, you know, the honey, the the tea, you know, and 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 really the honey, really more than anything. You know, people are real, you know, skeptics when it comes to having any type of sugar, you know, in your in your system when you're getting ready to perform because it has that certain ingredient in it that could make you crack. But something about that honey that kind of soothes over that throat, you know, allows you to be able to do your thing. So there's a lot, there's a lot of different things that people do. People, you know, you know, a lot of the stuff is in people's heads, you know what I mean? And and they, they kind of get caught up, you know, with the, you know, with the, you know, going with the flow of things or maybe just going with things that traditionally work for other artists. I just try to just, you know, like I said, work hard, work on the vocals day in and day out, make sure that they're crisp so that I can put on a good performance. Now, have you ever been asked to go uh, sing background front front of band or anybody that comes to town to, because they know that you're here? Have you been, ever been asked to do something Man, like you know that. what? That's a good question. I never have. You know, and not that's, yet. that's not, not, not yet. yet. Not yeah. yet. And it's going to happen because, because they know, everybody's saying, who's Trey Lake? Who's it? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to hear you. They're going to see you. They're going to listen to you because we recorded it. And so you're live. And so, that's what and I'm then we're going to record it and then we're going to capture it. And then we're going to pop it up on YouTube and then replay yeah. it on Facebook all mm -hmm. over the place. So then, yeah. yeah, people, and then we've got over 1,200, you know, entertainers all over the sites, you know, so. They're going to be checking this out. So you'll that's get the call. Yeah, that's yeah, the way to do it. That's, that's called so, so networking. Man, that's a good look. I love the networking. Like I said, if I say it before, I'm glad to be here, and I appreciate the opportunity. Heck, yeah. So with that being said, let's let's play one of your songs. What do you want to do? Anything? Party people? What do we want yeah, to do? Yeah, let's, let's, let's hit them with a little bit of that anything right quick. Let's that's coming that up. Anything. That's going to be on the next album. We'll probably be talking about that a little bit later. We're going to talk about that. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, sir. So let's do a little bit of anything. My boy Dre Lane right here. You're listening up close and personal. KUHSDenver.com. We're still live video stream right here at KUHS Denver. What up, though? What up? What up? Can you hear it? A little bit of anything, Dre Lane. I love this track, baby. I don't know why. That's one of my favorites for sure. So you enjoy this track. I mean, we're enjoying it here in the studio. So we're not gonna I'm, we're not gonna talk to you too much because you want to be able to hear this this jam. So it's coming live over the stream as well as over the video. So you know, we'll rap back and forth, but we're gonna let you hear it. For the ladies. For the ladies, yeah. <laughs> So your next album, Fifty Shades of Grey? Fifty Shades of Grey. Well, Dre, man. That's I right. Mean, Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, well, I've got Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Dang. And I got Fifty Shades of Smoothness. I keep it Snoop. You know what I mean? Fifty Shades of Grey. I like that. You know what I mean? I figure I might as well bounce off you. What's going on? What's going on? What's going around? The ladies is going crazy over there right now. So I don't know about the beat and all that. You know what I mean? But you know, definitely all, all about the sexuality. You're listening to Dre Lane here in the studio, www.kuhsdenver.com. DJ Jess in the house, always throwing it down. The man is bringing it live. The prodigy of Denver with Dre Lane, live here on KUHS Radio, Denver, Colorado. Live streaming TV also. Man, I tried this out trying to get the mood set. <laughs> set the mood right. Fort Collins is in. Broomfield is on. Pennies on the floor, baby. <laughs> How about that? That's my favorite part right there. Pennies on the floor. <laughs> Wish you must be 
For those who have just joined us, you're uh, listening to Dre Lane here on KUHSDeck.com. There is no need for stalling. Getting you in the mood, ladies. Getting you in the mood. That's DJ Jazz. Come on. <laughs> the man knows how to power it in here. Told you we had a special, special surprise for you today. And it's not Fifty Shades of Grey like they were telling me. <laughs> <laughs> Performing it live at the Shy Show, March 27th. Here we go. Huh. Be my babe, luxury necessity. Lead up that magic spot, touching me. Pennies on the floor, baby. Man, I love that. I love that part. <laughs> Good too. <laughs> You're hearing it live here on only on KUHS Radio Denver, the foremost collective radio station to pop out of the out of Denver and take it to the top. Let's go back live. Yeah. Check it out. Y'all love that love for that. you, ladies. Anything, oh, Dre Lane. <laughs> They're out there throwing the panties at the door. Throwing the panties on the floor. <laughs> on the floor, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, they be dropping. Right. Dropping Drop oh, like hot potatoes out Lord. there, man. I'm scared. Ladies, are y'all wet yet? <laughs> can I say that on there? Can I say wet? Oh, you, you can, can say, say whatever, whatever you want, want bro. <laughs> so we said that yeah. time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then go get your towel, like I said. Dre Lane, brother. That's coming up on your new album? Yeah, that's coming up on the new album. Fifty Shades of Dre. Fifty Shades of Dre. What a this tight, is, yeah, tight album. Man. That's a, a way to pick a Dre. Man, I'm trying to tell you, man, the, the movie was popping. The ladies is really hopping up on that. So I figure out, you know, I figured I might as well go ahead and roll with the punches. You know what I mean? And, yep. and I'm a freak. So, and that's real. You know what I mean? And that's 80 real. To yeah. 90 percent of my music is all about sex, sexuality. You know what I'm saying? You know. I don't care if you're a man or a woman, you know what I mean? You have to explore your sexuality. Yeah. And within my music, you know, I, I, I definitely exude that. So Fifty Shades of Dre just kind of just sounded like that's what it should have been. And so far, there's been nothing but, nothing but good responses back. So you Yeah, know, great I'm feedback. I know i seen it on your on your Facebook. Valentine's Day came around. <laughs> hashtag Fifty Shades of Dre, you know, and it, it yes. fits perfectly. And yes. so for the old fools like yeah. me, to buy the album, you get a you know one supply of Cialis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. And then you go Cialis. Have you hear I promise you. the Fifty Shades of Dre? And we need y'all to pay that for it. You need to yeah. pay us for that Cialis. Right? That's right. It wasn't free. That's free. Yeah, yeah, that's free. free. Yeah, that's free. Yeah, that's free. Yeah, I'm only, I'm only 31, so I need a. Uh, actually, I just turned 32, so I don't know how old I am. That's how. That's why I'm crazy. Well, so I'm only 32 with 30 years experience, <laughs> and I'm telling you. So hopefully, there's many more years left than you know, as a Louisville slugger. You know what I mean? Hopefully, I'm good to go for about 30, 40 more to go. Oh, oh yeah. I, I still feel strong. Yeah, I still feel strong. So we'll so see. Denver, Denver loves. Dre, how come? Well, what do you got going? What you brought it out? How long you been uh, hanging out in Denver doing your thing? Man, I've been out here in Colorado for about twenty years now, twenty years plus. Uh, like I said, we moved here from California. My dad was in the Marines, so we got moved around a lot, and finally got you know stationed out here in this beautiful state of Colorado, the most one of the most beautiful places I've ever been, and I would probably never leave. I, if I ever get rich and or get big or whatnot, I'll have to have a home out here, that's for sure. Plus, I'm a mama's boy, and my mom's not leaving Colorado, so I can never stray too far away from that. But uh, once we moved out here 20 years ago, man, we just kind of just stayed stationary and, you know, was able to stop moving around and have to worry about switching schools and all that good stuff and was able to, you know, build that foundation and that base out here. And it really started, actually, when I started, when Dre Lane really, uh, initially started probably about, I was what, 27, 28. I was working as a engineer for a radar mitigation company and I uh, got fired. I would like to say laid off. How do you like the way they do that? Uh, <laughs> can I see you in my office? Period. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, off, you know, after further review, yeah, after further review, you know, we look at it, all that kind of stuff. I was like, okay, funky, yeah. and maybe we'll bring you back. Uh, no, you're not. Let's just keep it safe, keep it real what it is. And yeah. actually, ironically, the day that I got released from my job was my first show that I ever had. Uh, and that was at Club Sutra. That's when Dre Lane first hit the start hitting the stage. Man, yeah. so, so Dre Lane. Uh, started started out when you got fired, and since then, I mean, you've opened up for some great acts. You really, I mean, name it: John B. John B. Keith Sweat. Keith Sweat. We did, you know, the Color Me Bad Bell together. Bell Bib DeVoe. Bell Bib DeVoe. Yeah. The R&B yep. group next. 
Black Street Man. All, you know what I mean? all the cats I grew up listening to, you know, that I looked up and idolized, man. I've been able to, to uh, you know, grace the stage with them. And it's, it's been a blessing, man. And I'm looking forward to many, many more. And then eventually, you know, start headlining my own shows. As you know, But that's going to happen, though, Trey. You know, it's yeah. like, uh, you know, what we've got here is something that's a catapult to a lot of the Denver groups. Because Denver up. right now is a hotbed for some of the most talented Musicians, entertainers in the world. Yes. You know, 303 came out of Boulder. You had. Uh, yeah. One Republic. You know, yeah, one, one Republic, Republic uh, yeah. grabbed a hold of it. Well, he was running from his landlord. And, you know, just, <laughs> don't lie. He was. Man, there is a lot of music. There's a lot of musically talented people out here in Colorado, not only just uh, in, the, in the genre of uh, soft rock and rock. And, uh, you got the R&B, you got mm -hmm. the jazz side, you got the rap side. Rap is really starting to come uh, come up. Shout out to Trev Rich. You know, it looks like he's getting ready to start making his way up to mm -hmm. the top. So, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of cats out here really are starting to get it in and really make a name for Colorado because we kind of been in the in the backdrop, you know what I mean, of, of the music industry. You know, they kind of, they kind of looked at Colorado, you know, even though we're right in the middle of the earth, you know, they looked at us, kind of kind of, kind of downplayed us a little bit, you know. There's, so, a, there's a lot of R&B coming out here, too, coming out of yeah, Colorado. A uh, special shout out to Miss Sue Charles. You know, I was listening mm -hmm. to her this morning on Heart and Soul, mm -hmm. Sirius XM Radio, and she's out of Denver. Uh, doing her Bad. thing in yeah, she came the UK. In here she came interview. in here doing an interview too, you know. Mm -hmm. So she's going out there to do her show, right? In the UK, yeah. Yeah. That's really gonna be nice because she, that be was a number one hit nice. out there. Yep. Sue Charles. You had um, last week we had Jesse, last week we had in here. Who do we have? Oh, Miss Mary Louise Lee. Mm -hmm. so yeah. We didn't have so many guests coming in. You forget and, who it yeah. all comes That's in. Yeah. Chris Daniels you know, and the Kings just launched Chris the new Daniels album. And the Kings with Fred Gowdy, you know, mm -hmm. so Freddie Hanchi and then uh Freddie Henchy comes back from the time where uh, we had another guest. He was our very first very guest. First, Mr. Yeah. Rocky Dorothy. Mm -hmm. He started with uh, Freddie Henchy, and that's the time when Earth, Wind, and Fire came out of Denver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Denver's launched some sensational groups. I mean, big time groups. I've been around everybody that's done this. Mm -hmm. So it's it's got to be a pleasure for me to you know be doing this for 41 years and watching how many people have come out of Denver and still be in touch with everybody. Yeah, that's a good look. And so uh, that's why we have this medium to launch Dre. If we can, we're going to show him show him off to the world yep. and blast do. his music. <laughs> Holla at your boy. boy. And and then, uhs Denver.com. They're yeah. all hard in the paint, man. Yeah, we are in the we are in the mix. I mean, everybody want to take us on. Let's go. Anybody who thinks they got one on us, well, we got it. Uh, what's nice is we got the computer place right behind us, pushing this thing. So it's like okay, <laughs> one stop shop. That's right. So this thing will catapult this around the world with no problem. So if you're in the all night streamer, you know that we've been posed with this. If we put your music up in the all night streamer. You got to be really happy not being on late at night. But you're going to be broadcasting uh, Australia because Australia was picking us up. Japan, oh, that's uh, good. they were picking us up in Singapore, Ho Chi Minh City. Ho Chi Minh City. Mm -hmm. Then there's these other ones I was showing Jesse. I can't even pronounce those names. I was capturing them overnight, and I took a picture of them because I, they won't show up on the daytime because it's nighttime. Out there, there's an 8, 10-hour difference, 18-hour difference. So the nighttime is where you're going to be catching. And that's over, crazy. Yeah, over the big pond. Is, yeah. They love you in Across Europe. the pond, yes. Yes, uh -huh. yes. And that's where Sue Charles got her big hit, Across the Pond. She's going to go travel out there and do two shows. She's been selling out everywhere with her stuff. So it may be Dre Lane next. And you know, and that's a good look, right, as you say that, too, man, at um, the track party people that will, will be listening to here shortly. Uh, when I recorded that track, uh, I didn't know how big it was going to get, and right as we were getting ready to release it, and we had this big campaign built up for it, I ruptured my Achilles playing Ooh. football. So we had to kind of put it on the back burner, and it's crazy how, you know, even when you record a track one day, sometimes it's not until like two or three years later until it really starts to pop off. And as you say, across the pond, that track is really starting to pick up, you know, steam, you know, overseas, Singapore. Uh, Bangladesh, I mean, you name it, it's really starting to make its way. Shout out to Radio Airplay for that, making that possible. And Radio Airplay is a, is a great uh, medium, a platform for everybody. Moses Jones jumped on there, too. You mm -hmm. know, We had Moses Jones in here, too. So Denver is exploding. Do we want to play this next song of Dre Lane? Today? Yeah, before we get to that, though, I think we're going to close out with that because, you know, uh, time flies when you're having fun. You yeah, know, this half hour. <laughs> oh, let's but, finish. Uh, how long is that song? Four minutes? Four minutes. Okay, so let's have a few uh, more words with Dre Lane yeah. and, and talk to him further. Let's what's your plans it. for the future? Yeah, let's tell everyone what's going on. We got a special concert coming up for you, Denver. Very special. Very special. Adding to the uh, adding to the cast of uh, great groups and artists that I've opened up for, uh, the group Shy. Uh, man, I can't tell you how many uh, 
ladies I got off of, <laughs> off of some of their music, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, they're, 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 they're music, like I said, music lives forever, you know what I mean? And it doesn't matter how, how old you are, music is timeless, you know what I mean? And their tracks are still being, you know, listened to worldwide, you know, today is the reason why they're still out on tour. But that show is uh, March 27th, next Friday at the Roxy Theater. Uh, doors open up at 7 o'clock. Show starts at 8. There's going to be a lot of great artists on there. Miss Vero. Uh, she's one of my favorite, you know, R&B artists out here. She be getting she down, man. She be getting down, and she got vocals mm -hmm. for you. Um, also, uh, my boy Terrell Matheny, he'll be opening up as well. Um, Dion uh, Wilson will also be there as well. And Symes Carter. You know, I'm a little mad at John for not putting me on this bill. Yeah, I was a little excited. I was a little, I was <laughs> what little, happened, uh, Jesse? I was a little surprised that you were on there. I was a little surprised that you were on there. I was a little surprised that you were on there. But, but Jesse, uh, you're going to be on a lot more coming up. That coming week. up. You're going to say, whoa, the man took a big step up. <laughs> man, Je man, I've been watching Jesse man, ever since ever since that show, you know, with uh, – Color Me Bad, and like I said, he's been making, you know, a, a big leeway, uh, not only in his DJing, but also, you know, with his disc jockey and DJing thing, man, and uh, just, man, just for me to you, man, just keep pushing, keep doing your thing, you're a young cat, man, and like I said, you got plenty of time to make your dreams possible, and you're doing, you're making all the necessary uh, steps to make sure that's attainable, so. Well, right on, bro, same goes for you, you yes, know, sir. that's why I wanted to get you in here, you know, uh, push you out to the uh, to the world, mm -hmm. uh, let you be heard, bro. And, I you know, you got that. a lot to say, and you're going to have a lot more to say. So that's why I wanted you on here. I said, we got to get Trey Lane in. That's what's up. We got to, uh, you know, promote the show a little bit, show KUHS some love, and we're going to show you some love back. Man, so, and I appreciate that. It's been a pleasure, bro. Uh, you spread the word about us wherever you go, and we will definitely tell you. Oh, I got your back. Man. You, got the, <laughs> you got the right individual sitting in the seat then, man. Because there's one thing I know how to do is grind in the marketing and advertising. It's that's one of true, my favorite man. things to do. You know That's true. I mean? We put you up on Facebook and you've been blowing it up. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. And, and Dre, sure. don't forget to hit us all your music because we will play it all. Man, and we do it. a Denver Takeover on Thursdays. I don't know if Jesse told you about it. Okay. If you have a full album, I we do. will feature your whole entire album for one, one full yeah. hour. That's what's up. And blow it up. And that first album, uh, this is my sophomore album that I'm working on, The Fifty Shades of Dre. Uh, my first album was, uh, it was uh, Dre Lane R&B's In Session. Uh, it was kind of a mixtape slash album EP. But uh, that one, we put it together so fast and uh, for, for, for better words, sloppy, you know what I mean, that I kind of pushed it out and it pulled it right back, you know what I mean? So, you know, I will kind of be pushing that still at the show because there's some quality tracks on there. But, you know, I'm a man that likes perfection, you know what I mean, or, or as close to which is really perfection, you know what I mean? And, and if it's not and if it's not to that to that standard, I feel like, you know, I shouldn't be put out. But at the same time, you know, you got to put music out there because you just never know. You know what Dre I mean? Dre Lane here Dre on KUHSDenver.com. I'm talking Dre Lane. The man Dre Lane. brought it right to us. I'm talking about Dre, Dre Lane. Dre. Oh, so Dre. That's what we got today. And we're not going to go Dre here. We're going to go Dre Lane. Dre Lane. <laughs> Yes. What a Ladies. great interview you had, <laughs> DJ Jess. I told you. Bro, and you're not DJ Jess the mess. Like, let me tell you, you're DJ Jess. Yes, sir. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> you know, before Jess. we go talk about this party people, what, what came up with the idea? You know what's so funny, man? Uh, and I got to give credit where credit is due. I'm a real individual. I'm not one of them cats that, you know, portray to be something that they're not or, or don't give people their credit. My girl, uh, we was actually hanging out one night. And uh, which we do often, you know, because I don't really go out oh, to yeah. clubs a lot. <laughs> but uh, she, we were drinking, you know, hanging out, and and she's like, all right, let's take a drink. Come on, shot, shot, shot it up and shot it up and shot it up. Hey, shot, shot. And I was like, first, I was like, okay, you corny as hell. <laughs> Real <laughs> talk. I was like, you corny as hell. But right that now. worked. But it, but you know what? I was like, you know what? Hold on. Shot, shot, shot it up. Pomo liquor off in my cup. Hey, I said, hold up, that might be a hit. <laughs> hold on, <laughs> right there. So, there. So, so you know what? You know, I gotta give credit to her. She she kind of, you know, with with uh the way she is, she's a fun, fun, fun individual, man. And she's a great hearted person. And she was just having fun at the time, and it's amazing when something like that can happen. And we found the beat that night, and as soon as I found the beat, I just took off with a pen and pad. And then recorded it the next day. You know, the beat was a little bit expensive, but you know, with good things cost money. So, yeah. um, so shout out to Carrie Ray, you know, for, for for that little input on the on the hook. But uh, you know, but that's that's where the track originated from, and then just took off from there. We took it to the studio, recorded it. We got plans to go to uh, Europe to rec to uh, record some of the video for it, as well as in Vegas, um, when we record the video for it here in May. 
Um, like I said, nothing short of, you know, nothing short of a, uh, what would you call that? A uh, Steven Spielberg presents, you know, type, you know, music video. You know, I want to make sure when this video comes out for party people, because this track is exactly what the, what, what the title is, party people. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not for the people that, you know, don't enjoy life. It's for people that enjoy and embrace, you know, the things that, you know, come with life. You know what I mean? Which is fun, you know, enjoying life, enjoying one another, no problems, no beef, you know, who cares about what color you are, creed, religion, whatever it is, let's come together, party, you know what I'm saying, get in and enjoy life. You know, you mean I'm going to stay this color? You just <laughs> might. You just might. I mean, I've been working on this dark tan for a while. I don't know if y'all can see me or not. You know what I mean? But, you know, this dark chocolate needs special light. You know what I mean? But, but uh, that's exactly what this track is about, bringing everybody together from all parts of the world, man. Yeah, you just have having it. one big party. Yes, sir. Dre Lane bringing us all together right here for a special up close and personal interview. All Only time. on KUHS Denver. This is DJ Jess with you signing out. Remember to stay tuned. Soon after this, we got the top 20 countdown straight out of Hollywood, California, so stay around. Brother Jay, right yeah. on, bro. No, thank you, DJ of Jess. Of course, I appreciate anytime it. you're always welcome. Oh, I'm sorry, here. DJ Jess. My bad. <laughs> DJ yeah, Jess. I dropped the E. Dropped I dropped the E. The e. Yeah, I dropped the E. I dropped it off. The E is silent. The so E is silent now. Make sure to check it out. <laughs> Coming up, top 20, but right now we're going to sign it off with a little bit of Party People by Dre Lane. What do you think, Henry? Should we do it? Hang oh, up let's hang get up oh, man. The hang man has got it flowing. I'm going to party with this tonight. Don't tell my ladies, go get some something to drink, baby. I'm telling you, take a <laughs> shot to this one. And y'all can download this. It's available for purchase on everywhere, on online everywhere. Rhapsody, uh, iTunes, you name it. You, you Google Dre Lane Party People, I'll pop up. I appreciate everybody's support on this. And uh, let's go ahead and take this to number one on the pop charts. Let's take it to number one. It's your Friday get down KUHS Denver Dre Lane party people. We'll see you guys tomorrow, same place, same yeah. time. That's what's up, fellas. That's what I love. Like. That's what's up. Like that, I don't like that. Do whatever you want, Henry. Henry, 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 Henry,
in the building don't matter what you're sleeping on. Just have a good time to the break of dawn. All you gotta do is get, get, get along. Get, get Stay along. Stay along. Just stop and just grab your uh, the top 20 drops. Top 25 with another dance hall. We must have a chance to move on as we go on. Oh, yeah, we have a I didn't pick up. Yeah, I didn't There you have it. Dre Lane here live in the studio. I wish we could have had more for you, but it's only a 30 minute show. So you make sure and come back tomorrow. We're going to have none other than and only Steve Watts of Don Cerro, legendary Don Cerro. Eight album songs. Big time. It's going to be here. And my good friend, Ayinde Russell, is going to be here. Gonna give us some live uh, poetry for us. A little change for you on a Saturday afternoon. So check it out. See you tomorrow, same place, same time. Peace. Peace.